victory of the night, 10 stone over uh, South Met. What was the team uh, in the game like, hard fought? Well, I, I just thought with, with, with two outstanding defenses, South Met has a very good defense, and we, and we knew that coming in, it was going to be a lot like the, the Charlotte Christian game. We just thought what team would, would offense would persevere and, 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 and just finally make the play. So we, we kind of went with our, we challenged our offense and, and put the Catholic football back down. We like our jumbo set in there with a lot of our seniors and Connor Miller and Owen Hall who usually don't play offense with our two, two bigger of our guys. And we just put the blade down. So, all right, two, take Jarrett and said, all right, man, we're put on your back, carry us into the team. And, and, and the guys did a great job of just executing and just willing the way into the end zone. Yeah, most definitely, man. This is an old school defensive football game. What can you say about your defensive performance? I mean, I, we put them in the hole so many times tonight, and again, they have just stepped up. Uh, against the South Mech, that team is very talented. I mean, they're a six and one football team. So I, I mean, they're, they're, you know, to do that, to hold that team to seven points again, you know, for the year, our, our defense all year has been pretty outstanding. Uh, uh, it, it, it keeps us in the ball game. You know, the formula is to to, to sit there. We got to play good defenses in order in order us to win, and our guys accept the challenge and, and they step up every time. Excellent. So what can you say about Jared Anderson? He had the big 16-yard touchdown run to put you up in the fourth quarter. He's been carrying it, you guys, all season long. He's a great player. What, what, can, you, what can you say about him? Uh, you know, that, he, he's just a gamer. And when I knew he fumbled, uh, he fumbled mm -hmm. the first time last uh, last year against uh, Providence. And I went to him and I said, yo, it's one. And he goes, I'll get it back for you, coach. And so I kind of just kind of used the same philosophy. I looked at him and said, hey, Yomi was Yomi won this now, and he goes, I got you, coach. So I knew that uh, when, once he fumbled, that they were going to get a different Jared Anderson out there because he just has he just has a determination and loves the pressure, and, and, and we could give the ball every single time, and he, he jumps, just steps up, and takes every time, and does what he does, takes puts and ends. That's awesome. Yeah, I mentioned your senior leaders. Uh, who, who really leads this team? Uh, we just got a great group. Of, you know, obviously uh, Connor Miller and, and, and John Martin are. are uh, captains uh, do a great job just in their leadership. But then Owen Hall and Xander Gaggins going to Duke and Matt White and, and, and Prowse and Jack Bout. I mean, I can listen to our whole senior group. Yeah, I mean, sure, we don't we don't do what we do here at Charlotte Catholic with just one guy stepping up. It takes a whole team because I'm telling you, it's, it's a whole team effort all the way down. So we have leaders all throughout the locker room every given day. They do something. It's a scout team guy, a senior that jumps in there and does some scout team work first. So it's just a united front, and that's what we teach the kids that Everybody can be a leader at any time, and, and, and they all step up, and, and sometimes during the season, they, they show the leadership. That's awesome, Coach. Congratulations.